Hello everybody, thanks for coming. My name is Vor and today we'll be learning how to color Mario from Super Mario Brothers. Before we begin, I'd like to let you know that you can download the line art to follow along. The link's in the description and you'll be taken to the Discord channel where you can access the line art for every tutorial. As far as color goes, it's pretty simple. We just have a red, a blue, and a brown. And then we have the two colors for the skin tone for his uh, Mario's face. I will also add yellow later on for the two buttons on his overall. Um, as usual, we always start off with a flat layer of color. You don't have to put too much pressure. We're just trying to identify where the color goes in the picture. Before we move on to the next color, um, I will apply a thick layer of pigment where the shadows would fall on Mario and that's going to be determined by where our light source is coming from. It could be from the top, from the top right, from the top left. On this picture it's going to be coming from the top right. Now we're going to apply a bit more pressure and we're going to darken the edges of where our shadows are going to fall. And you do that all over the area of Mario and his uh, shirt and hat since both of them use the red. Then I'm going to go over it a bit to uh, enrich the hue of it, like the, put more pigment down so when we water it, it looks prettier. Don't forget the M too, I almost did. On to the blue. The blue is just for the overalls, that's the only piece of clothing on Mario that has blue color. Same thing again, we apply a layer of color, very flat, kind of washed out so we can just identify where the colors are being laid and then we'll uh, add the shadows to where they belong just like we did with the shirt and the hat here use the yellow just to color in the buttons on the overalls and finish off the eyes that i almost forgot i also almost forgot the um little folded area of mario's pants so i colored it in right now we're just going to make sure that the shadows are properly filled in. And now I'm going to color the shoes with one brown color. We're going to uh, apply one layer, same pressure all around. And then we'll uh, apply another layer on top of certain areas to darken them and have a differentiating color tone between the sole of the shoe and the actual shoe. But it's just the same color, just a little bit more pigment on one area over the other and that gives you the two tones. We'll go over Mario's face really quick with uh, the cream color first to have a foundation for the color and then I'm going to add a bit of the peach so I can make it look a bit warmer and not so yellow. Cream color tends to be pretty yellow. I'm also going to color the sideburns that my hair has with the same brown that the uh, we use for the shoes and then fill in the tongue which I forgot before. Now let's get ready for the water. I'm also going to use the ballpoint pen at the end to outline the drawing. That's how we're going to ink it. The water we're going to apply it from the shadows towards the center just so that we can get a more even gradient and it looks nicer and more natural with the shadows. This blue hue is pretty rich to begin with so the shadows are very subtle. You still see some of a lighter, some, somewhat of a lighter tone in his belly area but for the most part I feel that this blue came out to be very rich. So we're going to finish off the remaining parts of the overall, show the two little straps on his shoulder, trying to avoid touching the yellow a little because if not we're going to get green spots on the blue. Um, that's why I like chisel brushes, you can get very fine detail with the little tip that it has. We'll color the buttons now on his overall, trying not to wet the red or blue around it so we don't mix them. We'll move on to the red color and do the same thing, go from the dark to the light and try to achieve a nice even gradient. But again, these two colors are pretty bold and rich 
so the shadows end up being a little bit more subtle than we had on the Mega Man tutorial. Um, but we'll fix that later with some a little bit of a ballpoint pen and cross hatching. Now we're just going to finish off his hat and also paint the M so we can make it look all rich and red. We're going to now move on to the face and wet that also so we can activate the pigment. But since it is a pale mixture, it's not going to show that well on the white paper. Um, you can fix that on post when you scan it, if you scan it, and you can adjust the levels and the curve adjustment. Um, beyond that, I just go all over his face and do his mouth. And I do forget to do his eyes, but I cover that at the end. Last but not least, we'll cover the shoes with water so we can activate that pigment. During the light uh, area before the dark, no rhyme or reason really just decided to do it that way. And aside from me forgetting the eyes, the shoes are the last part that we use water on. So now we can go move on to using the ballpoint pen to outline Mario and give him a bit more depth. Inking Mario is going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to use a regular ballpoint pen that you can find at any local shop, uh, supermarket, grocery store. They're pretty cheap. And I'm just going to go all around the body following all the lines and bringing out all the little details that may have been missing. So I'm going to uh, speed it up a bit so we can see the process and uh, I'll see you at the end. Gonna remember that I forgot the eyes and I'll water him now and then I'll keep going. I'll let it dry for a bit before I go over with a ballpoint pen but it doesn't take that long so you can finish it pretty quickly after you applied water. almost done inking Mario and as you can see we kept it pretty simple just going over the already established line from the original line work um, to help it a bit more I'm going to do a little bit of cross hatching in the shaded areas just to add a bit more dimension to Mario's body because you can see some color changing from the shadow areas to the lid part but like I said before the pigment is pretty rich itself, so it doesn't show that well. So I'm using the pen to make diagonal marks right underneath his arm where the shadow would be. And I use the same motion to go over most of the shaded areas, just so I can have a preliminary look as to how the shadows look on the drawing. And after that, I'll go over it on the opposite direction and you'll have Mario completed. And that's it. We are almost done with Mario. And that's how you color Mario with color pencil I and mean, watercolor pencils. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have any other characters you would like me to do. Um, I always try to keep them pretty simple using the minimal colors that you need to complete the picture. But again, please let me know what you think and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.